What is the most valuable skill in the world? The most valuable skill you could possibly have. What would you guess it is? Is it a social skill, people skills, leadership skills, something like that? Or is it a harder skill like coding or trading stocks or doing plastic surgery? If the most valuable skill is the one that improves your life quality the most, then it's none of the above. The most valuable skill is hidden in plain sight. Imagine that you're on a shore. There are many people there and everyone has a sailboat. Some people are out at sea, many are on dry land. They're waiting, waiting for the seas to be calmer. Most of the people, both on the water and on the shore, are complaining. If only the seas were calmer, if only the winds weren't so strong, if only there were fewer waves, if only those waves were smaller. If only the seas were calmer, then I'd go out and I'd sail my boat and things would be easy and I would be happy. But alas, the seas are not calm today. Okay, so what am I getting at with this? Is it sailing? Is the most valuable skill you can learn sailing? Well, that would be an unexpected turn, but that's not what I mean. This is meant as an analogy. In life, most people spend a lot of time complaining. We're always complaining about all the problems we have and wishing that we didn't have all these problems. And we tell ourselves and we tell others that if only I didn't have all these problems, then I'd do the things and I'd live my life and I'd be happy. But alas, there are all these problems. But guess what? The problems aren't going to go away. You're not going to wake up one day problem free. Life is a series of problems to be solved. And so the question is, how good of a problem solver are you? And this is it. The most valuable skill you can develop is the skill of problem solving. Problem solving is a skill like any other. Most people are average at it, some people are good at it, and some people are incredibly good at it. Some people are such good problem solvers that problems most of us would struggle with for weeks or months or years are trivial and easy for them to solve. And even further, as with any skill, the better you get at it, the more it becomes fun and engaging to actually flex that skill. A problem can become an interesting puzzle to solve instead of this huge issue that tortures you forever. And this is a rare way of looking at it, isn't it? I mean, we're all out here wishing our problems away. We're always hoping for calmer seas instead of getting busy becoming better sailors. Now, this is an idea that I didn't just make up it's something that I discovered. In fact, it's something I stumbled upon. Many years ago when I started my first business, I didn't know this at the time, but as it turns out, when you become an entrepreneur, when you are the founder, the CEO of a company, your job is to solve problems. Your job is to identify and solve every single problem that comes up with that business. And trust me, many problems come up. As I was running and growing my businesses, I was tackling ever more complex, ever more difficult problems. And at one point I realized that one of the side effects of this was that many everyday problems kind of became easy and even trivial for me. That was the first hint that I was developing a skill here. And what made it even clearer to me is that over the years, more and more people would come to me for advice. Basically, people would bring their problems to me and ask, you know, here's what I'm dealing with. How would you solve this? And I realized that, and I have to say, it's very, very satisfying to be able to solve someone's problem, you know, relatively easily, relatively elegantly, and really help someone kind of leapfrog past a whole bunch of suffering that they would have done otherwise. That made it really clear to me, okay, this is a skill where I'm getting better and better and better, just like, if you, you know, lift a lot of weights, eventually a weight that most people struggle with becomes easy for you to lift. This is what I was experiencing with problems. And that's why I propose that problem solving is one of the, if not the most valuable skill you can develop in order to improve your life quality. If life is indeed a series of problems to solve, then the better a problem solver you are, the better a time you will have. And by the way, good problem solvers also tend to get paid well. This is also a professionally valuable skill to have. All right, so, so much for the theory. Sounds good, but how do you actually do it? 
Well, here are four steps for you to become a better problem solver. Step number one is practice because, well, it's a skill. And like any other skill, it requires practice and experience to develop. So the first step is to start looking at problems as opportunities to practice your skill. Don't wish your problems away, engage with them deliberately. Step two is to take a step back. When you are in the midst of a problem, you're very rarely in a situation where you can actually solve it well. As an example, let's say the thing that I'm struggling with is that I'm stressed and overwhelmed at work because my inbox and my Slack are constantly full of messages and I spend all my time answering messages I can't get any actual work done. As long as I'm still frantically answering every message that comes in, I'm just not in a position to solve this problem. I have to take a step back and I have to prioritize solving the problem over being embroiled in the problem. Step three, clearly define the problem. Writing can help here. Write out what exactly is the problem. Is the problem the number of messages I'm getting? Is the problem about expectations? Is the problem that there's simply too much work, more work coming towards me than I can get done? Is this a problem of time management or priorities? Or is it a problem of my own productivity or my own energy levels? Clearly define what exactly the problem is so that you're in a position to actually solve it. Step four, ask better questions. If you're wondering, why do I have all these problems and why is my life so hard? Then all you'll come up with is more things to feel sorry for yourself about. Asking the right kind of question can make a huge difference. If you're asking yourself, what is the solution to this problem? You're implying that there is one solution and one solution only. Most of us pick up this kind of idea that there's one right answer and everything else is wrong in school, but in real life, almost no problem actually works like that. When you ask better questions, you're prompting your brain to come up with better answers. Here are some examples. What are some ways I could solve this problem? Who could help me solve this problem? What are the most elegant ways to solve this problem? What are the cheapest and quickest ways to solve this problem? And what can be done to ensure that this problem never occurs again? How can I solve this problem for the last time? Beyond these four steps, problem solving is usually highly context specific. There's no one size fits all recipe. You have to basically understand the specifics of the problem you're facing and come up with a good solution. But here's a bonus tip. Mental models can help with this. Mental models are specific ways to think about something that are designed to help you come up with better solutions. And usually for whatever problem you're trying to solve, there are going to be one or several mental models that can help you think about the problem more effectively. If you want to learn how this works in a practical way, you can check out our strategic decision-making class, which you can access for free on the Acario.com website. And we'll link to that in the description as well. How much better would your life be if you were a highly competent, highly skilled problem solver? Think about all the people sitting on the shore complaining about the wind and the waves. How much better is it to be out there, to be a highly skilled sailor and be comfortable and competent no matter the conditions? I hope this video has given you a new perspective on life's many problems and I hope this motivates you to develop problem solving as a skill. And you've probably met some highly skilled problem solvers along the way. Like, think about it. Do you have any stories about meeting someone who is just incredibly good at solving a problem? Maybe got it done elegantly and quickly when everyone else was endlessly struggling. If you have any stories like that, share them by leaving a comment below. And if you want to start developing your own problem solving skill, check out our strategic decision-making class. That is a good first step.